Okay, so here's a valve that comes with uh, the Adoja gardening system. So we've already got a, a wire and some connectors on here and, and you can just take these two ends and what you'll end up doing is you'll end up just screwing those into either this channel or this channel um, to, to run the valve. So we'll show you that. Okay, so we've got two solenoid valves uh, in, in, installed into a weatherproof box. We went ahead and uh, drilled some holes in there. We've got some poly tubing. What we did is we used a T connector to that's where we were going to put our hose input valve in. And um, you know, you guys are going to want to use uh, backflow prevention if you're using your water supply coming from your hose. So just uh, you're going to have to Google that or figure that out. But that just prevents water from backflowing into your water supply. So you're going to want to do that. But this is where our water is going to come in. We've got a hose nozzle into a T connector, it splits it into two runs it's going to be pressurized up until this point so now i've got two leads from the solenoids and i'll show you how those plug in in just a sec okay guys so usually our uh, most of our products ship with easy snap connectors but with the solenoid uh kits and products uh, you can buy this separately but this this baseboard ships with it it's got screw terminal connectors so the solenoid channels are going to run on the motor switch channel 1 or motor switch channel 2. The equivalent of that on snap connectors is this or this. Electrically it's all the same. So all we're going to do is we're just going to screw in the wires from the solenoids into uh, these two terminals here. Okay, so we've got our two outdoor enclosures mounted to a uh, just a little wood truss that we kind of threw up. These are going to house, this is going to house our uh, unit here. We've got the the valves on the left ready to go wires just coming out the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and Install the board and electronics into this one. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the enclosure um, And we're gonna go ahead and power it up uh, Through up here um, Just up top. So we've got a little slit for uh, our, our extension cable and that's how we're going to power it um, and then we'll pull up any wires that we need right through here so what we can do is we can go ahead and guide in our solenoid wires <clears throat> and we can get our baseboard mounted in the back once we get everything screwed in it's easier to screw everything in out here okay so we've got the uh dog bowl channel uh, plugged into its valve that's ready to go everything except for the electrical wire we'll show you how that plugs in in a minute now we're just going to go ahead and plug in the garden valve um, and then show you how we route that to water uh, our, our trees in our garden okay so here we're going to run four lines of quarter inch uh, black landscaping tube and we're just going to use stakes to kind of um, get our garden going and we've got some tree nurseries as well in here um, what we're gonna do at the end is we're just gonna go ahead and screw in a kind of a dummy piece. And then we're gonna use this other connector here. And we'll tighten these up in just a bit, but we're using this just as a stopper. So we're just gonna go ahead and stop this channel and put all the pressure into our quarter inch black line. So we'll go ahead and get those out, run them. Okay, so we've got our hose set up to four, uh, separate drip lines just to show you kind of some of them are going to rings with holes drilled in them um, and some of them we've got going into spray nozzles spraying upwards okay so before we mount the board we went ahead and screwed in the uh, garden uh, valve channel um, doesn't polarity doesn't matter but it's screwed in right there so we've got a uh, a hose adapter with a, a rubber washer in there to make sure that it's watertight. Um, we're gonna just, here's where we're gonna hook our hose up to. So we've just got the one channel plugged in. It's running a uh, test profile that just turns the solenoid, switches it every 10 seconds, just so we can kind of check out our watering profile and make sure we're getting water in all the places we wanted to. Uh, we didn't plug in the other channel yet just because we don't want them running at the same time because it's a test profile that switches both on at the same time. We don't want to reduce pressure. So um, 
yeah it looks like it's uh doing what we wanted to do i'll have to check it and make sure everything's getting wet as we go and make adjustments to the sprayers and uh whatnot but um yeah that's solid it hooked right up connected right to the test profile so we've got a wi-fi garden that was really easy i'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw in the other uh wires for the level sensor switch so we can refill the dog bowl and we'll plug in the moisture sensor here and then uh i'll show you guys how to set up a whole profile for this whole system so right now it's not watered on moisture sensor this is just 10 seconds on 10 seconds off it's got a different profile than we'll actually be running but this is just validating that the hardware works the way it's supposed to um and so this is a custom setup using valves as opposed to pumps so we're using solenoid valves running from the uh, home water supply and everything's functional so as you can see these valves are running just on that one little channel right there now we've got another channel for another set of valves uh, or another another valve that that's what we're gonna use the dog bowl I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, second valve channel which runs to the dog bowls and just go ahead and screw them in these uh, this terminal block here okay so we've got the second uh, wire screwed in and all we're gonna do now is plug screw in the level sensor switch and we can do that in either of these two green terminals uh, on the left of the board which is oriented on the top uh, the way the boards oriented is uh, one with my finger on that's uh digital pull-up channel one and that's pull-up channel two so you can plug in the level sensor switch on either one of those okay so i've got the uh, wires in and all i need to do now is just screw them in i'm going to twist them down real tight get both sides in now this is the level sensor switch this here's the garden channel this here is the dog bowl channel it's all set to go I'm gonna go ahead and uh, power it up and uh, just to make sure the dog bowls are working these will go at low pressure because they'll all be going on at once I just want to make sure the channel's working okay so it's filling up um, our water bowls are filling we're good to go the system has uh, poured water out of all the valves everything's working fine we're gonna go ahead and get this guy uh, sealed up so let's put this waterproof cover over the valves. Okay, so I'm just going to plug the moisture sensor in. Um, you just want to basically get it in with the blue wire towards the power supply and the black wire closest to the top of the board. There it is. That's plugged in. It's good to go. If you guys can see that, uh, the wire is coming out. And then I've got a lip here for the power supply cord going to cut right in there so I'm going to go ahead and tuck all this together and the moisture sensor is right here in our first plant um, we're going to calibrate that uh, there's a link in the description with how to calibrate your moisture sensor or you can click this video right here okay so we're just calibrating the moisture sensor we've got the boxes sealed up and powered up they're still on the cycling profile um, we've got a fast check-in on our uh, devices so we're going to go ahead and calibrate the moisture sensor on this profile. It should check in pretty quickly here. Um, and then uh, let's go show you how to program the profile real quick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a brand new profile. And we're going to call it Auto Garden Plus Dog Bowl. And then we're just going to create that. Um, for the motor switch channel one, that's going to be our garden channel. So we're just going to set that to valve lock and we're going to set it by a trigger. Uh, it doesn't need to be in a group because it's triggering by itself. We want this guy to run for say two minutes when it runs. See how that works out. Um, and then we're going to set this up so the moisture sensor triggers it. For the second channel, this one's going to be the dog bowl channel. This one is also going to be valve lock by trigger. Uh, doesn't need to have a group. This one we're going to trigger. Uh, uh, let's try for a minute and see uh, if that's enough to fill it up. Uh, we can adjust this later when, when, if we need to. For pull up sensor, is where we plugged in the water level sensor switch. And what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set an alert on trigger, and then um, device name has watered dogs. 
And then uh, we're not going to do a protect action. We could protect a pump and prevent it from uh, going if we wanted to. But what we are going to do is we are going to trigger um, this second pin right here, this pin 5. So that's going to be our dog bowl trigger. We're going to set that up to trigger here and then make sure you click deploy. So that's deployed. It's got a check mark next to it. So the water level sensor switch to recap. You can set an alert message. It's going to send an alert when it when it runs low, just so I know, just to make sure it's working right the first few times. So I might turn that off. Um, but I can always check every year once in a while and see how often it's been watered in the dashboard. Um, so that's deployed. Um, and then we're not using the second water level sensor switch or anything, so we can leave that alone. For the analog sensor, we're going to use the soil moisture sensor. Um, we are going to trigger that first group of, of, of uh, valves, and then we want to trigger it, I'd say, around moisture level 6, water to um, 7, and then maybe max cycle to hit target three times, so it'll try that water cycle three times to get everything nice and uh, moist. Now, you got to calibrate this moisture sensor, which uh, I've already gone ahead and done, but the way you do that is you go back to the actual device, which this is Samuel. He's set to a different profile right now. Here's where we calibrated him. Okay, so actually his seven-day high is 783, so he's dry right now. We've got him outside drying, so let's just set that to 790 on the upper end, and then that's good 390 on the lower end. That's from when we had uh, we're putting water on it earlier. And then we can uh, let's change his profile to... Auto garden with dog bowl refill. Save details. So now he's got his right profile. So he should uh, water the garden um, as he, as it's needed, as well as uh, turn that dog bowl sensor or start filling that dog bowl up. So good to go. Let's go check it out. Okay, I'm gonna test it and dump them out. Already refilling. That worked on an interrupt. There you go, guys. Self-watering uh, dog bowl refill. Hardware is good to go. Let's go check out the garden part. The dogs are happy, so let's simulate uh, us needing some water here. So we'll dry this off pretty quickly. That thing. Pretty quickly, it should kick into action here. There we go. It says, oh no, I think we need water. Okay, so all we gotta really do now is just kind of watch the moisture levels that it's reporting um, and make sure our, we're watering on the right target moisture level. And then just uh, check your nozzling and make sure your plants are all getting you know, good water flow. But we got it rocking and rolling. This is a Wi-Fi garden with auto dog refill that's gonna send alert messages. We can log in and watch uh, online and see what the you know moisture level status is and check when all the last watering happened and all that good stuff so pretty cool stuff check it out this uh, is the automatic garden kit from Adoja um, you can buy this at adoja.io